Hey, I'm Nick Hawks with Gristle King here at a plant nursery in San Diego, California. Now, I approached these guys and said, hey, I'm kind of a sensor geek. Can I put some sensors on your property and see if uh, I can help you learn things about what's going on in your property? They said, yeah, sure, go for it, dude. So I started off with this soil moisture sensor. This is the soil moisture sensor, the V3 from Maker Fabs. Really cool little sensor, it's about 20 bucks. The case that comes with it though, was kind of a pain in the butt for me. It's a two piece case. It goes together with these fiddly little bolts. I didn't want to deal with it. So what I did was I got onto Upwork and I hired a guy to help me design a better case. This is 3D printed out of ASA. So it's UV resistant. The sensor is inside here. There's tons of airflow throughout the whole thing. And it's really well protected from water uh, while maintaining all the airflow pieces. So really what this project is about is showing you, hey, how do you come into a new place and see how you help them out? And then how do you figure out how to make things better for yourself so that you're improving something as we go? This is the company Medio Scientific is the sensor company I'm running all of this stuff through and then going through and talking to the nursery about the many other things we can do for them. So putting up a weather station, uh, putting in more of these soil moisture sensors so they know what's going on in all the different quadrants, all the different regions, a lot of the different pots behind me, uh, figuring out how much water is going into each of those and how well that's getting used. And then also seeing what else can they, uh, can they use on here. So one of the questions I asked is like, what else do you guys want to sense? And we went through a bunch of the different use cases and found out that they want to know how much diesel is in the tank. They're running all kinds of machines on here. Those machines take diesel fuel. So putting a liquid level sensor in the diesel fuel tank, uh, they've got a giant machine for filling all the pots that you see behind me with earth. So getting an hour meter to run how many hours that pot, or sorry, how many hours that machine has been rolling and seeing how much wear and tear is going on that machine. Whatever it is on these projects, it really comes down to you going on to that property, finding the property owner, finding what they need, and then figuring out how you can help them with a helium Lorawan. And that's what we're doing here today. That's probably the most exciting thing that uh, that's going on is figure, figuring out how do we solve problems using this pretty radical worldwide network. So that's it for today. Rock and roll. See you next video.